It's God that is the one that will make this a blessing. That is true. That is true. I'm sorry. I meant to say God. What I'm calling about is the mistreatment of senior citizens. How many people take advantage of senior citizens and children? Those are two situations in this on this earth it's wrong. How people can misuse a senior citizen and take advantage and the reason why I'm calling is because I'm in a situation like that. Uh, they take advantage of children, they misuse the children, and they misuse older people. Heavenly Father, we need to pray about this Pastor Boba because it's getting worse and worse and worse. They don't seem to realize that they, if God blesses them to get old, they're going to get old too. At 95, I'm seeing this, and I'm just, it gets tiresome how they will misuse older people and they will take advantage of them, take their money, misuse them. It's in families, it's neighbors, it's in the nursing homes, it's everywhere. People need to have regards for other people's feelings. And realize, even though they're old and they're handicapped, they still have humor. They still have feelings. Uh, Pastor Bogle, will you please pray about that? Because it's a serious problem. Dear Father, in Jesus' name, I am so thankful that you say, call upon me and I will answer thee. And so let there be a blessing in every bit of our moment. Minister, dear God, I pray, and let there be more love among people as we are brought to that moment by Thee. Help us to love one another, and we shall thank You Bring us further than where we're at. In Jesus' name, granted God, we're here to thank you in this moment now. And uh, the phone number is 313-838. 1035. Thank you. And again, that number is 313-838-1035. And uh, we have uh, 10 minutes still in this first hour. And then uh, may God bring us further. We need calls, though. And again, that number is 313-838-1035. Taking uh, with thanksgiving the call that is here. God bless, you're on the air. Hello, Dr. Gogol, it's Martha. Thank you, Martha, it's your moment. Go right oh. ahead. Oh, Dr. Gogol, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I, uh, I guess we're starting a new year now, and... I hope it's a good one for everybody. I can sure use a good year. I've had nothing but a struggle the past 40 years. <laughs> but um, anyway, I have an unspoken prayer request, Pastor Mongol, and that's it. All right. We're going to ask God to be with you when you share that with God. Well, I and... want to say one thing. I want to say one thing. You certainly are an encouraging person. And, uh, you know, the devil's a great one for discouragement. 
but you certainly are a very encouraging person, and thank you for listening to my call. And I'm praying that God will help us in winter, because yeah. winter isn't an easy time oh. for us often. No, but it I, isn't. But I thank God. I look and see the streets totally clean, and I'm thankful. Dear Father, in Jesus' name, <clears throat> bless this daughter of yours, minister to her, and bring her further in her moment. Bless her going forward. Help us in this moment. Dear God, I pray. And minister to somebody that has a headache. And whatever is causing that headache, may it not continue. Wherever there's pain in the body, let there be total blessed blessing. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank you. Bring us further in this moment. Granted, God, and we're here to thank you in this moment now. And um, I'm going to ask the station, do we have a call now? All right. Uh, we need a call to come in quickly. And uh, the phone number is 313-838- 1035 and um, the station will let me know as soon as that call has come in and uh, you that are close to the Lord would you pray that we could have God's blessing in this moment. May God be blessing us, we do pray. And as we're looking at a scripture, 1 John chapter 5, it says here, For everyone born of God <clears throat> overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcomes the world? Only he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. So may we overcome <clears throat> what has to be overcome. Granted, God, and we shall thank you. And then uh, in 1 Peter, looking uh, At verse 25 of the first chapter, the word of the Lord 
stands forever. The Bible stands forever. Thank God for God's word. <clears throat> and then uh, in uh, James chapter 4, verse 7 and 8, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. That's a precious scripture. James chapter 4, verse 7 and 8. And uh, Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we don't give up. That's a precious scripture, isn't it? Thank God for that. And then uh, Galatians 5, 22 but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That is the fruit of of the Spirit. Thank God for such a precious word. And then may God bring us further. But it's time for Before I say that, all right, and I'll read a scripture first. In John chapter 16, verse 13, but when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. Thank God for that. But it's time for station identification, and then the station can tell me again about calls. But it's station identification. Thanking God as we go into the second hour and uh, we're going to go further than just the second hour. After the second hour, we will go until 2.18 before the message. And... Uh, Taking uh, the call that is here at this moment. God bless. You're on the air. Well, Pastor Bogle, God bless you. Hallelujah to everyone out there. God is good. God is in my heart. And God is in your heart. May he heal 
guide us down the path for righteousness. And I want to say a, a, a real strong prayer for myself and my brother. Um, we are both struggling with addiction, and we are doing very good. We are uh, in God. God is getting us down the right path. And I just want to pray for everyone out there that they have a blessed New Year's and a blessed evening. Thank you, Pastor Bogle, and you have a wonderful evening. Can you pray that prayer? Yes. Uh, I would like to pray for everyone out there and everyone to have a blessed New Year's and to open your heart up to God. God is there. Jesus is there. He wants you to be a part of his life, so let him in. Let him in. Let him in. God bless you, Pastor Bobo. Continue to bless this one, and we shall thank you, God. Bless us all in Jesus' name. <laughs> and wherever there's a need in the body, let that need be met. I ask it in Jesus' name. We come to thank you now. Taking um, our next call at this moment. God bless. You're on the air. I'm uh, needing prayer for for weeks now, and it's just can't seem to get rid of it. I need guys. What do you need prayer about? Because I want others to pray for you, too. I'm having a lot of problems with a, a chest cold. Uh, it seems to settle in my chest really good. I've had it for a couple of weeks now, and it's just not going away. It seems I've gotten worse, and I, I need God's healing. And uh, that is so important, the chest area and the breathing. We'll pray for you and all of us. God bless you. Thank you. Dear God, be with this one. And I'm asking God that our lungs could do so much better. I ask it in Jesus' name that you would minister to all of us and bring us further. But, Lord, I thank you for that promise in the Bible that says they shall recover. And so let this one have total recovery. But not just this one. All of us, dear God, I pray, bring us further in this moment and we shall thank you in this moment now and I hope there'll be somebody that will pray that we can pray over the water but uh, taking our next call in this moment God bless. You're on the air. Hi, Pastor Bobo. Um, yes. Let me turn this radio down. I'm on network. I'm sorry. But I'm, your show is so addictive, you know. Uh, just, uh, you can feel God with every single caller. And everybody that calls in, and, and, and you are so appreciative. And I pray for you and Shirley. But, Pastor, I need prayer right now. Because I'm at work, I don't feel well. I feel something. I, I rebuke this attack in Jesus' name. Like it's either blood pressure or I've got to go and get my cholesterol checked in the next uh, uh, couple uh, on the fourth. So it's this Friday. See, I can't even, I'm at work. I can't think straight. And I, I can't go home. And um, I'm not going to the emergency room. So if you would just 
And I actually wish everybody, every single caller, because everybody is precious in God's eyes and also in my eyes. And I'm so sorry to call you like crying, but I'm really, I'm desperate. Rather than going to my boss and say, I need to leave work because I don't feel well. Uh, I'm not, not going to get anything accomplished, you know. I'm barely making ends meet. So I just thank you, and I'm sorry for rambling on. We're going to ask God to give you total recovery. Yes, Jesus' name, thank you. Dear God, be with your daughter and give this one your promise. They shall recover. Let this one be brought into such a blessed moment. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank you. Bring us further in our journey. Grant it, God, <clears throat> and we're here to thank you now. Bless us going forward. In Jesus' name, grant it. We're here to thank you now. And taking our next call, God bless, you're on the air. God bless Pastor Bogle. Yes. Yes, I'm calling, thanking God for this moment, for the ministry, and for prayer. I'm thankful for the opportunity to be praying and asking for God's help in the ministry and experiencing His blessings. Um, I'm thankful for the grateful heart that the Lord's given me and for... Um, this ministry, and I um, just would like to express my gratitude for what God is able to do here in this ministry and what he does do when we pray and when we are following him diligently. A scripture he had showed me um, just a few hours ago was out of the Gospel of Matthew, where Jesus had said, um, enter in at the straight gate, or there's a gate that's wide, that leads to destruction, and many people go that way. But he said there's a narrow way that leads to life, and there's few there be who find it. And so I'm thanking the Lord for um, this narrow way that is present um, with us now, that we can press um, into it and find his presence and find his goodness that is truly present with us, and that um, we just we just keep hoping and longing that we can experience in a fuller measure. And so um, I guess we could pray and ask for that, but I also realize that it requires um, all of us. It requires um, all of our participation and you know, obedience with the Lord and what he's doing. But even though God's in control and he's got his great plan, um, he showed me this while we were praying earlier, He's in control, and he has a plan, and he's working all things out for good, but yet what a difference um, he can make when we pray. And I'm really thankful for that um, gift of healing that God's given in my spirit to where we can actually um, abide his presence and be holy as he's holy and um, receive his gifts. And so, um, thank you for, thank you for praying and thank you for your goodwill for all of us. And, uh, what age are you at now in your journey? <clears throat> so I'm 32, but, um, I've known the Lord now for 11 years. It's um, 11 years since I was born again. Hallelujah. Yes. <clears throat> Dear God, bless this young man that has a testimony. Bless him 
in every bit of his journey, I ask God <clears throat> that he could be blessed from A to Z. Bring him further, and he will be a testimony. Granted, God, we thank you. Yea, we thank you now. Granted, God, we thank you now. <clears throat> and um, taking uh, our next call, God bless, you're on the air. <clears throat> good morning, Pastor Bala. It is a good morning. I believe that. Keep on. Yes, Happy New Year. And can we protect the water? I'm so thankful you're asking that. It will benefit me. But before we do, and we will, but uh, what is it that we can pray for you? Uh, for us to pray for Brenda Brown, we see she had a stroke. We want to pray for Sister Anna, Sister Sarah, Sister Gertrude, Brother Jerome, and Brother Ray. And I have unspoken prayer requests. Could you pray that prayer and then I'll pray for the water? I'll pass it water you pray. I'll pray it. Dear God, and be with this daughter of yours. Bless her, dear God, and all that she's bringing in prayer to thee. Let it be a most blessed moment. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank you. And God, I'm asking that you would touch our body from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. And God, I'm asking that you would be with all of us that need the breathing, lungs, and all brought on in a blessed way. Bring us further in this moment, and we shall thank you. Help us in all of this moment. But, Lord, I'm asking that you would touch our bodies from the top of our head to the soles of our feet and be with those that need to be able to walk better, especially in winter. Minister and bring us further than where we are. Granted God, and we're here to thank you in this moment now. Thank you, God. Thank you in this moment. And I'm going to cut the microphone so I can drink the water without the sound of my drinking going over the air. It'll only take about a minute, and so may there be some of you even praying for me is my prayer.
Lord, we do thank you. Taking our next call. Yes, you're on the air. <clears throat> I hope the person will speak up real quick. Yes, it's your turn on the air. Would you speak? And, uh, Station, can you help that person? <clears throat> All right. Uh, it's your time on the air. Can you speak up? And um, if they won't, can you give me the next call? G g got what, the next call? Or this call? Okay, fine, thank you. God bless, you're on the air. Praise the Lord, Pastor Vogel. My name is Virginia, and I'm calling for prayer that you would pray for me for a car. Pray about what? Would you pray for me for uh, the Lord to bless me with a car? With a car? Yes. Yeah. Cars are, are easy to come by anymore, and uh, go in to see a, a place that sells cars and uh, see what you can get. But uh, there's some real bargains in this moment, if you will go to one of the big uh, companies. We'll ask God to meet your needs, okay? Okay. Dear I'll God, in God. the name of Jesus, I'm asking that we could be blessed exceedingly. Bring us further than where we are. Help us in all of this moment. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank you. But meet the needs of this one that's calling on thee. Bring this moment on in a blessed way. In Jesus' name, Granted, God, we're here to thank you in this moment now. And uh, the phone number is 313-838-1035. And there's two things that I'm thankful for that this is a new year. And then I'm thankful that God can help us in winter. May God be helping us in winter, I do pray. Taking a uh, our next call in this second hour, God bless, you're on the air. Good morning, Pastor Vogel, it's Evelyn. 
Yes, daughter of the Lord, you go ahead and let God use you. Uh, may every step we take in this new year be filled with our Heavenly Father and our Savior's presence, I pray. Um, Missionary Moore called, and she asked me to call her, but I don't have her number, and I tried to call Pastor Dave's number, and I didn't get any answers, so she forgot to leave her number. If she would call, when she calls back, if she would leave it again, uh, leave her number, I would appreciate it. I I would make a request uh, of, a, of a prayer from A to Z from you. And uh, that is the one that gives the mailing address? Yes, yes. You want she, her to give her phone number? Well, she asked me to call her, and I, I don't have her phone number, so I couldn't uh, call her back. I hope she's listening and hearing what you're saying. She probably is. She's very alert and a very sweet woman. I'm sure she's on top of everything. All right. We'll ask God to meet all your needs. God bless you. Thank you. Dear God, and be with this daughter of yours. I ask God that, that you would meet all of her needs. May every bit of her moment be blessed exceedingly. Minister to all of us. And God, I'm asking that you would continue to bless night vision. The callers were thankful for them, but not just the callers. Everyone that's tuned in, listening to night vision, bless each one. Grant it, God, and we're here to thank you. Yea, we come to thank you in this moment now. Bless us going forward. In Jesus' name, I'm asking God to bless us in this new year. And then I'm asking God to give us his help in winter. Because winter is a moment that isn't as easy as summer. May God bless us in winter, I pray, with his help. Granted, God, and we shall thank you now. The phone number is 313-838-8255. Taking uh, our next call, God bless, you're on the air. Pastor Bobo, this is Missionary Moria. I'm calling to give the mailing address, and I heard our good friend, um, Evelyn, and I did request that she give me a call, and this number is only for Evelyn. If you could call me tomorrow anytime after 10 a.m. until, but tomorrow, if, if it's all possible, Evelyn, give me a call at area code 313-327-8298. Once again, Evelyn, that number is 313-327-8298. And Give it one is, more time. Okay, Pastor, thank you. It's 313-327-8298. And Evelyn, I will be expecting your call. <clears throat> I, I, we're going to be doing something for the ministry. That's why I want her to call me for a night vision ministry. She's going to help me out a little bit. All right, Pastor, I'm going to give the mail and address as we go back to work tomorrow. Uh, if you listen tonight and... Listen to Pastor Bogle's voice, 
as he's praying passionately and fervently for all of the callers who are calling in tonight. You're tuned to Night Vision. We urge upon you, ask you, and request of you to please support Night Vision. And you can do that several ways. You can send all checks, money orders, make it payable to Night Vision. That is one word, all together, spell capital N I G 